is in the pole vault mode. The Lok Sabha polls will be held in seven phases beginning from April 19th and ending on June 1st. The results will be declared on June 4th. Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal and Bihar will conduct voting in all seven phases. That's 162 of the 543 seats. They will be voting on 19th April, 26th April, 7th, 13th and 20th May, 25th May as well and 1st June. Among other states with highest seats in Lok Sabha, Maharashtra 48 will be voting in five phases. Tamil Nadu 39 in one Madhya Pradesh 29 in two phases, Karnataka 28 in two phases, Rajasthan 25 in two phases. The assembly polls for Andhra Pradesh will be on May 13th, Sikkim on April 19th, Arunachal Pradesh on April 19th and Odisha will be held on May 13th. Simultaneously with the Lok Sabha elections in Jammu and Kashmir, the five seats that will go to polls in Lok Sabha elections 2024 in five phases are Baramulla, Srinagar, Anatnag, Rajori, Udhampur and Jammu. But the assembly polls will not be held simultaneously along with the Lok Sabha polls. 1.82 crores are first-time voters. This was around 1.5 crores in 2019. But between the age group of 20 to 29, there are around 21 crore, crore voters. Phase 1 will start from 20th March notification five days from now and last date of withdrawal would be 30th March and date of poll would be 19th of April. Second phase, will notification will start on 28th of March and date of poll will be 26th of April. Phase 3 would be from 12th of April and date of poll will be 7th of May. Fourth phase may 18th April ko gazette notification hoga or date of polling would be 13th of May. Date of counting in the entire country would be 4th of June for all by-elections for the assembly elections for the parliamentary elections. Fifth phase 26 April se shuru hogi or 20 May tak chalegi. 20 May tak date of poll hogi. Beech mein nomination, scrutiny or withdrawal ki dates rahengi. Phase sixth may 57 constituencies will go to the poll starting from the Gazette notification on 29th of April and finishing on 25th of May 2024. Last phase, 7th phase notification will be on 7th of May and polling on 1st of June. The last polling would be on 1st of June and counting on 4th. For us, it's another extra 10 days. Uh, as somebody who's been around the constituency for the last 15 years, uh, uh, a week more, 10 days more is not needed for me uh, to introduce myself to the electorate. But perhaps for the new candidate who's come for the first time, that could turn out to be uh, a blessing for him in terms of getting, giving him more time. On the flip side, on the other hand, it gives the voters more time to realize what he stands for and what his party stands for. So these things cut both ways. June 4th was again a bit of a surprise. The 4th of June is a bit longer than uh, I expected, but obviously I'm sure that the Election Commission knows what it's doing in terms of constitutional propriety. And if that's what it is, that's what it is. Well, it's disheartening. On one side, the government of India and the Prime Minister himself wanted one nation, one election. Four states, they are holding state elections as well as parliamentary elections. Why is this state being denied? And every party, whether it's BJP, whether it's other parties, everybody wanted elections. What is the reason? If they say the security is the reason, I don't think so. Then how is it that security is alright for parliamentary election and not for the state elections? आप देखिए सात चरण में चुनाव क्यों अगर इलेक्शन कमीशन अगर सही समझे दस चरणों में भी चुनाव किया जा सकते हैं लेकिन बात यह है कि पिछले साल में भी सात चरणों में चुनाव हुई थी इतना डिजिटल इंडिया की बात होते हैं आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस की बात होती है इतने सारे हमारे देश में सब कुछ आधुनिक बनाए जाते हैं लेकिन सात चरणों में हम फंसे हुए हैं तो भी एक देखने की चीज होते हैं और दूसरी बात यह कि अच्छा लगते कि ये चारों स्टेट के साथ साथ जम्मू कश्मीर भी चुनाव कराया जाते तो अच्छा लगता
सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने सितंबर तक चुनाव कराने के निर्देश दे चुके हैं लेकिन हम लोग सितंबर मास तक क्यों हम इंतजार करते हैं हम चुनाव आयोग के निर्णय का स्वागत करते हैं हमारे सातों उम्मीदवार भारतीय जनता पार्टी के सातों उम्मीदवार अनुभवी हैं संगठन करता है संगठन में काम करने का अनुभव है और सब अपने अपनी फील्ड के उसमें योग्यता लिए हुए हैं और मुझे विश्वास है कि उन सातों को जनता का भी आशीर्वाद मिलेगा और सातों भारी बहुमत से जीतकर माननीय मोदी जी को प्रधानमंत्री बनाने में अपना योगदान देंगे And my colleague, pro, uh, my colleague Pradeep spoke to people of Jammu earlier in the day to get their reaction to what the elections would mean to them and the fact that the assembly elections are not being held along with the Lok Sabha elections in JNK. The long wait is finally over. That everybody had been waiting for this announcement for the last several days. The announcement has already been made by the election commission of India. But if we talk about the political parties here, they are saying that they are disappointed and dejected because they were expecting assembly polls along with the Lok Sabha poll. But right now, I am here at the Joggers Park in Trichoda Nagar. I'll be interacting with the senior citizens because they have got a lot of experience. They have seen a lot many elections. How they really are seeing the decision taken by election commission of India? I'll be talking to them. आप जनता यही सोच रहे कि इलेक्शन कराओ जल्दी कराओ तब कोई करेंगे इलेक्शन तो तभी लोग जनता ठीक सोचेगी चुनाव साथ में होने चाहिए थे ना हम तो आप वो, वो इसलिए कि इतनी पॉपुलेशन है साइमल्टेनियसली दोनों कराएंगे तो कहाँ मतलब इतना स्टाफ इतना सब कुछ बड़ी मुश्किल है वो कराना साथ साथ होता रहे वो ठीक रहता है लेकिन पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज क्रिटिसाइज कर रही है वो कहती है कि देखो जैसे की यहाँ पे नॉर्मलसी की बात करते हो तो इलेक्शन क्यों नहीं करा रहे पोलिटिकल पार्टी वही ऑब्जेक्शन कर रही है जिन्होंने पचहत्तर साल में थी डेवलपमेंट की अब जो दो साल चार साल से डेवलपमेंट हो रही है उनको अच्छा नहीं ना लग रहा है यानी कि लगता है कि वो सत्ता की लालच है सत्ता के लालच में कर रहे हैं उनको मजा नहीं ना आ रहा है इस बात का हमने देखना है जी कि डेवलपमेंट किसने किया कब हुई है कहाँ से हो रही है सत्तर साल से हम भी देख रहे हैं सब कुछ आप क्या कहना चाहेंगे आपको लगता है की ये पोलिटिकल जमाते जो सही बोल रही है या आपको लगता है की नहीं ठीक सही बोल रही क्यूँ क्यों ये डेवलपमेंट इस दौर में हुई है तो आपको लगता है कि ठीक है लोकसभा इलेक्शन बिल्कुल कोई जरूरी नहीं है कोई जरूरी नहीं है कोई जरूरी नहीं है तीन सौ सत्तर कितना इम्पोर्टेंट रहा है हटने के बाद आपको क्या लगता है कि इसका फायदा होगा बीजेपी का नहीं ये फायदा है बीजेपी को फायदा होगा भाई फायदा होगा आपको क्या लगता है आम जनता को क्या फायदा हमें भी फायदा होगा इसका बहुत फायदा हुआ इसका हटने के बाद आप कैसे देखते हैं ये सारा जो है देखो तीन दफा हटने के बाद काफ़ी जो है फर्क पड़ा है जो जितनी भी मतलब रूलिंग पार्टी थी जिनकी मनापली थी वो मनापली खत्म हो गई